Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Saturday. We got eight matchups on this NBA slate today. A lot of good action on the board this weekend. So go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out my links below to get in on the action here. Really good bookie offers. And um, yeah, you know, we're going to hop into it here. Eight matchups, starting with the Miami Heat versus the Indiana Pacers. Heat opening up as three and a half point favorites with the over under at 224. You can get Heat on the money line at minus 170. The Pacers plus 145. Uh, the last 10 head to head, Miami 7 and 3. Pacers 3 and 7. Miami, I mean, they got a huge win over Milwaukee here. Pretty much beat them down. Uh, Miami looked really good in their opener. Um, yeah, you know, I like the Heat in this matchup. The way they looked against the Bucks. I mean, I know the Bucks are missing some people, but. Um, they still look really good. Pacers, slow start to the season here. Uh, big expectations for the Heat. Such a small spread, minus three and a half. We'll take Heat on the money line, and uh, we'll take them on the spread as well. Next matchup, we have the Dallas Mavericks versus the Toronto Raptors. The Mavs opening up as three and a half point favorites with the over-under at 216 and a half. You can get the Mavs on the money line at minus 165. The Raptors plus 145. The last 10 head-to-head. -to -head. Toronto owns that category. 7-3 and head-to-head. -head. Uh, Dallas, pretty embarrassing loss against the Hawks in their opener. Toronto didn't really look good in their opener as well. Um, yeah, you know, I like the Mavs to bounce back here off that bad loss. Toronto... I just don't think they're going to be that great of a team this season. They didn't really even show it in their opener. Um, this is going to be a rough season for the Raptors here. I like Luka and the Mavs on the bounce back here. Next matchup, we have the Detroit Pistons versus the Chicago Bulls. Bulls opening up as nine-point favorites with the over-under at 214. You can get the Bulls on the money line at minus 420. The Pistons plus 310. Um... The last 10 head to head, Chicago 8 8 and 2, Detroit just, you know, 2 and 8 in that category. The Bulls looking really good to start the season. I just think they have so much more chemistry. Detroit, such a young team. I mean, they're going to be a, you know, a rebuild, work in progress team. Um, I think there's big expectations for the Bulls here. Um, I'm going to take the Bulls minus 9, but I think the Bulls are a better money line parlay addition. Um, and yeah, that just, I just like the rush that the Bulls have. They're going to be fun to watch this season. I'm going to roll with Chicago. Next matchup, we have the New Orleans Pelicans versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, Minnesota opening up as six-point favorites with the over/under at 226 and a half. The la you can get Minnesota on the money line at minus 260. The Pelicans plus 220. Um. Man, I mean, Minnesota, man, they, they looked really strong in their opener. Uh, a lot of a lot of scoring. And, uh, you know, Carl Anthony Towns and uh, Edwards looked really good there. Um, yeah, Pelicans are going to be rough without Zion. Uh, they got a lot of question marks on their team here. Not in love with the Pelicans. Um, I'm going to take the Timberwolves minus six, and uh, we'll take them on the money line as well. Next matchup, we have the Phoenix Suns versus the Portland Trailblazers. Uh, Portland opening up as two and a half point favorites with the over under at 232. You can get Portland on the money line at minus 140. The Phoenix plus 120. Last 10 head to head. Uh, both teams split down the middle, five and five. Um, don't see any injuries here. Uh, Phoenix had that rough loss to Denver in their opener. Portland had that loss to Sacramento. That wasn't. That wasn't very good on their end there. Um, yeah, you know, getting Phoenix on the plus money here seems like a solid bet to me here. I think they're the much better team. Um, Blazers are going to be a hard team to trust all season. They just really are. You just don't know what who's going to show what Lillard and what team's going to show up on a nightly basis. Give me the better chemistry and the better team in the Phoenix Suns on the plus money. And we'll take them plus two and a half too. That's probably the best value on this slate, honestly. Next matchup, we have the Memphis Grizzlies versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Clippers opening up as three and a half point favorites with the over under at 226. You can get Clippers on the money line at minus 165. The Grizzlies plus 145. The last 10 head to head. 
Uh, Clippers seven and three. Memphis three and nine in their last twelve against the Clippers here. Um, and you know, Clippers had that tough, you know, close tough loss against the Warriors. Going to be a tough season for the Clippers. We'll see how how they respond. You know, no Kawhi. Uh, definitely some question marks on the Clippers. See how, you know, we'll see um, how Luca does. I'm sorry, not Luca. We'll see how Paul George does. And um, yeah, you know, I like I like Grizzlies plus the points here. I just like the Grizzlies unit. Love John Morant. He's gonna have, he's gonna be a fun. He's gonna be having an exciting season and be fun to watch this season. And um, yeah. I want to take Memphis plus the points until we can really get a gauge to see what this Clipper team is going to be like. I just don't trust them on the money lines right now. So I'm going to take Memphis plus the points. All right, guys. Next matchup, we have the Atlanta Hawks versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Hawks opening up as seven and a half point favorites with the over under at 222 and a half. Last 10 head to head Cleveland seven and three. Uh, Atlanta. You know, really nice win over the Mavs in their opener. Played really good. Cleveland, um, yeah, I mean, already two losses. You know, two, uh, losing 123 to 112 against Charlotte, and then 132 to 121 against Memphis. Um, you know, last year, Atlanta struggled against Cleveland. One and four in their last five. One and six covering against Cleveland. Cleveland currently one and eight at home. 1-15 in their last 16. Yeah, I just don't know if I could trust uh, Cleveland in this matchup here. Hawks looked really good in that opener. Um, a lot of weapons on this team here. Give me the Hawks, minus 7.5. We'll take the Hawks in the money line. And then the next matchup, and the last matchup, we have the Milwaukee Bucks versus the San Antonio Spurs. Bucks opening up as 7.5 point favorites with the over-under at 223.5. The last 10 head-to-head, Milwaukee 6-4. and four. Milwaukee, you know, had that beatdown loss against the Heat, 137-95. Uh, they were missing some of their key players. Drew Holiday is looking like he's going to play today, so he should be good to go. Still no Brooke Lopez, so um, that does kind of hurt uh, them a little bit. Bucks, 0-6 oh, covering the spread against the Spurs. 6-12 and 12 against the Spurs. Um... San Antonio's 9 and 2 at home against the Bucks. Playing really good against the Bucks here. Um I like the Bucks off that bounce back loss. Getting Drew Holiday is going to help. Um you know, a game where Giannis and Middleton really did stink in that last game. I like the Bucks to bounce back here today. Um rolling with the Bucks minus 7 and a half. We'll take them on the money line. And that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday, and I'll see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.